really work, something's wrong. Hey everyone, welcome back. This weekend I'm doing the lower fork of the Skokomish River Trail out near the Olympic Mountains here in Washington. It's gonna be a good time. My friends Adam and Paul will be joining me later on this evening. So let's get moving and find a good campsite. Not sure if you can hear it, but I can hear the river now. Probably be able to see it. So work down my way down this side of this mountain. Beautiful hike so far. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like we're gonna have a place to ourselves, which is perfect. That's part of the reason why I picked this trail. It doesn't seem to be one that people really know about or do. Tons of old growth, massive, massive trees, hiking among giants. I think this is going to be a good one. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any way to fully show how large this tree is. I have my wide angle lens on right now. Let's see if we can tell. Massive, massive tree. Yep. Yep. Foot in the water. Wet shoe. Neat. Someone built themselves a little couch. This might be one of the places we camp at. I'm gonna scope things out and see if this is a good site. Seeing that the next group of campsites is at the end of the trail, which is about three and a half miles from here, and Adam and Paul will probably be rolling in until close to five. Probably better to go ahead and set up camp here. That way it'd be easy for them to find me. Plus, I don't know what the campsites at the end of the trail look like. They may not be good for a combination. I'm in a hammock. Those guys are intense. This is a perfect spot for everybody. So let's play it safe and just set up camp here tonight. And in the morning, we'll go to the end of the trail and explore what it looks like down there maybe even move camp it's now about 7 20 adam and paul still aren't here they should have been here i would have thought well over an hour ago starting to lose light so i'm gonna go ahead and gather up some water and make my dinner and hope those guys show up So now I'm getting really concerned. My water filter is mostly clogged. It's taking a good 15 minutes just to get uh, enough water to rehydrate with. So between that and the fact that they're not here yet, I'm gonna give them about 30 more minutes and then possibly hike out. I uh, was in communication with those guys up until the point I lost signal on this trail going up over a ridge. So I'm worried that something's wrong and kind of feeling like I should hike out and see what's up, even though that means I'm gonna be hiking in the dark because 30 minutes from now is 15 minutes from sunset. It'll be my first night hike, I guess. But like I said, I'm gonna give them 30 more minutes and see what's up. I'm not gonna make food yet. I'm just gonna maybe have a uh, granola bar and hang tight and see what happens. Check in here a bit. Well, I'm officially worried now. I uh, really worried something's wrong. By all accounts, they should have been here by now, so I'm gonna hike out and hopefully run across them. If not, um, we'll see what happens. Time for my first evening hike.
Go right into. Back to camp. Satellites for uh, internet everywhere. Good morning. So after I found the guys on the trail last night, made it back here, set up camp. It was too dark to really film anything. So made dinner and we hung out around the fire ring, even though it's high fire danger right now, so I couldn't really do a fire. But I got talked for a while and each went to our tents and hammock and crashed out. Man, I slept so well last night. Crazy, crazy vivid dreams. Just amazing sleep. It was great. But uh Right now, we're just gonna hang out for a little bit, maybe go for a couple hikes, and see what the day brings. I'm just gonna parkour down this branch. <laughs> parkour, parkour. Some dust in your eye, but that's about it. Damn, this one's dirty. Did it? Parkour. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That was an awesome little seven mile hike along the river. Man, beautiful, beautiful trail. Tons of old growth, lots of streams and waterfalls. So now we're back here, gonna rehydrate, maybe have some lunch, and think about getting in the river, cool off a little bit. Waiting for dinner. So tonight, instead of the usual mountain house chicken and dumplings, I'm trying a cheap packet of Noor broccoli cheese and rice. Seems to be a success. A little soupy, but I get rehydrated. Good alternative to super expensive mountain house meals. The dinner was kind of a game changer. Using one of those cheap Noor packets. I actually couldn't finish it. 
I'm gonna back it out tomorrow. But what's nice is you get two meals out of basically like a dollar pack. I think I paid a dollar twenty-five at the dollar store. Also added a uh, spam slice in there, just add a little protein. Man, it's gonna be backpacking way cheaper. And it was an assault bomb. Anyway, man, it's been a great day. Awesome hike. Ended up hiking for a little over seven miles and then came back to camp and just hung out. Man, this is maybe one of my favorite trails I've done and I'm a little scared to share it because it's not a very well-known trail. But if you're out in this area, it's worth checking out. Yeah, it's starting to get dark. We're just going to hang out and talk for a while and then climb into our respective tents and hammocks and call it a night. We're going to head out in the morning, probably around 9 or 10, head into town, grab the customary post-backpacking trip cheeseburger, stop at a brewery. Yeah, it'll be great. So I'll check in in the morning. Well, we all slept great last night. I have a camp broken down. I think it's about time to hike out. Thank you. Do a kickflip. Alright dudes, we did it.